Yes, so we can bruise more easily in perimenopause. There's a few reasons for that. One, as our estrogen levels drop, our blood vessels get thinner and so too do, does our skin. Um, and so that can make it more likely for us to bruise. Um, but we're also more likely to bump into things because you can actually get clumsier in perimenopause too, which seems highly unfair. And um, there was some in interesting research in 2021 in the um, Women's Health BMC. Um, the title is Perimenopausal Women Perimenopausal women show modulation of excitatory and inhibitory neuromuscular mechanisms. Um, I can't seem to link a picture here in this video, but that's the title of it if you want to look it up. Um, but it's probably enough to know that there is research there showing that um, during menopause, we have this um, impact on these neuromuscular mechanisms that um, kind of control how our muscles and our nerves work together to control our sort of balance and movement and spatial awareness, which can also be maybe why it's a little bit di difficult to park sometimes, you know. Um, it also can affect our just general balance. Um, vertigo can be a symptom that comes up. It's all related to this um, interaction of how our hormones impact the interaction between our nerves and our muscles. So I hope that's helpful. Um, a really wonderful herb for this is called hawthorn or crotagus in Latin, and it helps to strengthen the capillaries and um, our blood vessels. So it's brilliant for the entire cardiovascular system, um, but it's, uh, it's going to help to strengthen the, the blood vessels and prevent bruising as well.